Good morning. Hi there. <clears throat> I beat myself something to drink before I started. Cause my throat is killing me. Oh, oh, I'm not muted. There we go. Okay. I have another screen that has uh, my stream up that I watch myself on <laughs> to make sure <coughs> the stream is actually working. Apparently, I unmuted it at some point. I'm getting a feedback loop is the best. At least I know my mic works. Okay. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. I got a little bit of grinding. Okay. So, last time we went to, uh, freaking Eureka. We've got all the, the hidden weapons and spells and stuff, so... Now we're going into the Crystal Tower. So hopefully... This in the world of darkness will hopefully be the last levels. Yay, indeed. Oh, God. Then I'm immediately attacked by... That thing. Uh, that was the boss of what? Owen's Tower? Tower of Owen? I don't remember. I don't remember. G Gomery. Uh, it is just for you. It, uh, <laughs> Twitch does that sometimes. It is a common problem. But no, we are not getting uh, any of your messages twice. Drain? Excuse you? Oh, never mind. You keep doing that. That's fine. As I am aware, <laughs> uh, refreshing should actually make that stop. Although if it if it doesn't, it's it's fine. Oh, good! You can Medusa the Medusa. Awesome. What's this? Musk. <laughs> Musk. Shock. Hey, what? I don't even know where I'm going. I don't know the layout of this place very well. But you may have freaking guessed. Unai's key. It worked. We're almost there, everyone. Be strong. We do know, though, that for the end, I want us to be led by Raffia, the good, strong woman in the front. Of course. Of course. Immediately pulled into a fight. Let's go! Let's do this! So excited! Putting the cough though. <laughs> <coughs> oh god, it's gonna be one of those screens. Ah. Magic. Oh my god, do we have oh my god? Yeah, we do. I don't think anybody else can wear it though. Can they? No. Hola! How are you? <laughs> Chocobo's wrath. Hi there. Clone of Doga. Oh, it moved. What? It moved. Crit. Why tired? You left at like, what was it, 10? You stay up? 
You certainly didn't play Final Fantasy XIV. Ow. That was very inconsiderate, clone of Doga. If you just die, that'd be great. I could get behind your death 100%. I'm not good with time. It was not almost midnight, though, because Jeremy and Ryan and I continued to play for a while before I stopped to go to bed for a bit, and that was at midnight. Besides, that was nine hours ago. Ow. The ice rude. Mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> I'm sure you've heard about how everyone's getting caught on the, uh, Cold Steel instance, like no one can get past it to get into literally anything further in the main story. And it's super early in, so like it's a real pain. That problem has, for the time being, currently been fixed on our server. Do you want to give me a guess as to why, or I guess how it ended up getting fixed? Or give me, give me one good guess what happened to fix it. And here's a hint, they didn't, no, nobody actually did anything to fix it. That's a terrible guess. That's not a guess at all. The answer uh, is that Gilgamesh server crashed. Like, you know how it kicks us out every so often, but we can get back in? No, Gilgamesh server is, is down. It's still down. It crashed at like 2 in the morning yesterday, and it's not come back up. So, though, all those people we were competing for <laughs> slots for aren't there anymore. So we're not kicking each other off. So we, we can get through. At least <laughs> until they either actually fix it or um, Gilgamesh comes back online. Oh, God, it moved again. <laughs> right? Like, I. Right? Yeah, it was because there were so many people. Like, I got on, like, because I got kicked next to Raubon, as you do. And <laughs> I got on, and there were no players there. And I was like, am I just super early? But then I looked around, there were other players just like kind of wandering around in the area, and I was like, I'm not. <gasps> and I tried him, and I got through, and I was like, <gasps> oh! <laughs> and I get to, to Ralgar's Reach, the town, and there's like tons of players there doing the quest finally. And someone, they were all talking about it, and they were like, yeah, Gilgamesh server is crashed. <laughs> it's not working, so we don't have to compete with them anymore. I was like, oh my god, that's beautiful. Square Enix didn't actually do anything to fix it. Just one of the biggest servers got so overloaded it blew up. Which is. It's gonna be the one of my best memories from Final Fantasy XIV now. Everyone getting stopped by Raubon. <coughs> and the destruction of a server is the, what was needed to fix the problem. I still don't know if they'll be able to get through if they don't actually fix the problem, because 
they'll still be competing with Baomung. Which is like a ton of people. But I don't care. I got past it. I got through. That's all I needed. The next gap like that is like quests away. So I'm not going to worry about it. Until I get there. It is. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to cough. Okay. I, I, I was informed that the same kind of issue happened in Heaven's Word when it came out. It wasn't as bad, apparently. Like, there were no, like, places you just can't get to anymore because it's too much for the server, but... <laughs> Like, server crashes and the server being so full that people get kicked it was a thing. It was a problem then. They apparently need to upgrade their servers. Still. It's a... a come, come. Ex excuse me? <laughs> excuse me? <clears throat> it's not what I envisioned that would look like. <coughs> Cast Blazaga. Nothing now, I killed it. So, why didn't you go to Pride with us, Hannah? Literal tons of fun. Tons of it. Ooh, an elixir. The dragons in this tower drop elixirs if we come across one, so I'm gonna have to fucking murder them. Platinal. It's, it's Goldar, but in platinum, apparently. Really dark platinum. Ow! Tisk tisk. I got a rainbow fan. Bark in the park. A phoenix down. I don't know which way to go. Let's go right, I guess. I don't know. Well, get one then. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure you can order one off the internet. But don't die, Art, please. Oh, you're gonna die because of poison. Whatever. Dead. D e d dead. Fuck up! It's one down. Oh god, it's so much. Oh, it's so much. It's 
get a let's get a Kiraja off on everyone. Sounds great. So much better than Pride. Get all the fat loots in this place first. Mm, elixir. Oh, is this guy? This is like Azer. Oh god, no! Don't, 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 don't do that. Do not. <laughs> do not. You can cast a Roga. I'm gonna start using actual magic because reasons. <laughs> well, <coughs> that's that's an image. Your your chubby dog getting into a fountain you can't get out of. Hellfire! Ooh. Sounds like a blast. Ow. I mean, if it took two people, you and somebody else, to lift her up, then yeah. A sight unseen, I can agree with that. comes. Just say hi to some of them come comes. Poor pooch. A butt shelf of fat. What does that even mean? I think this thing's almost dead, so... We don't we need to waste our actual spells on it. Lunith is just going to stab it to death. You gain that level, Ark. You do that. Uh, elixir. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sure. Do you use real magic? Hell. Oh, yeah. Dark fire! What is this? It's full of magic cards. Surprise. Total surprise. Never would have seen that coming. Me? Magic cards? Crazy talk. Rude. 
you were supposed to die. It is unacceptable. You are still standing. Good. And sir. I did want to ginger you, but then I realized that uh, there are others that are, uh, are female. <laughs> At least she sounds cute. You have a fat schnauzer that comes into work? Wait a minute. There should be something around here, right? Wow, oh, there it is. Phoenix down! Up. Shit again. <clears throat> Don't cough. Okay. I should have healed. I should have healed. Let's just do that now. Just... Just hit me with a Kiraja. You know what? Let's go... Let's go crazy. Mm, hit me not too crazy. Hyper. Well, uh, it's raised, though. Ah, whatever. Oh, God! Twice as large as it should be. Stomp. Mm, step on me, Daddy. Or don't. Never mind. It's a ridiculous outfit. What the Snouser? Oh. <laughs> well, I mean. At least they bring in the Schnauzer. They could not. Or bring it in matted and covered with like mats of hair and be like, yeah, can you just, can you just, um, just brush it out? I don't want her to actually cut. Just like the mats brushed out. You could do that. Great. We usually brush her, but like, we just couldn't for like the past few days, and she just got so matted. It's only been the past few days, though. Right, yeah, it happened overnight. We brushed her last night. She must have just played so hard last night. Who oh, got Oh, I'm gonna use real magic, aren't I? Some kind of heathen. Pet owners are either, like, the best people for pets, or, like, the absolute worst. There doesn't seem to be any middle ground. It's either, like, yes, I take care of my pets, they have all of their vaccines, I take them grooming every, like, two to three weeks, I make sure they get exercise, or it's like, I feed my cat raw veggies and let her wander around outside. No, she's not fixed. Like, that's it. That's the middle ground. That's, that's all there is. <laughs> Oi!
for the people who are, who won't let you put gendered colors on their opposite gendered animals. Like, you can't put pink on him. He's a boy. He he doesn't like pink. I mean, to be fair, mommy doesn't love them <laughs> if they're not taking proper care of their pets. I guess mommy just doesn't want to face that truth. down. Elixir? Who would have thunk? She's a giant pit. Join me in the pit of despair. Oh, God damn it. More cum cums. <laughs> Why? Why are you an enemy? Come, come. Well, I can tell you what not to get. Microwaved eggs. <laughs> also, yes, though, stay in bed. Don't get out. There's no reason. It's Sunday. It's 9.30 in the morning. Just, like, call Hibachi and be like, hey, bring me breakfast. Oh, God. Kill it before it can kill you, Lunith! I'm not going to have that problem as my father is currently dead. So. It would have been my father's birthday. <coughs> okay, are we just and? So, I don't want to. I don't want to accidentally walk into Zand. That would be unfortunate. I want to heal before we do. Almost to Zand, though. We're almost there. Come, come. You can just send him a text. Just be like, "Hey, hey, pop, pop, hap, hap day." should probably do that. It dad day. Congrat. Gay mm. from daughter.
Well, of course, later. You're watching my stream now. Don't interrupt my... Don't stop watching my stream to go call your father. That's a ridiculous thing. You, you, you finish... You wait until I'm done. And then you can call them. It's a yellow dragon. It, it specified the color. Okay. Wonder if you count as a flying creature. Let's get some flare up in your face, because you're, you're gonna hurt. Okay, I lied. I was wrong. Here I was all intimidated by you. <laughs> Just turned out that was a bad idea. Oh well, I think you're resistant to air. Ha! <laughs> Hello? What just happened? My controller just stopped working. It's just like, nope! <laughs> what did you do something? Ridiculous. Uh, here, I'll get everyone, just in case. Leviath! More attacks. Good, so you can call them at like 1 o'clock here. You'll be calling at noon, you'll be like in the middle of the day, it's a good time. Oh god, stop attacking Rifia. She's barely noticing your attacks. You sad little dragon. Demon's eye. That doesn't sound like an attack from Leviathan, so what are you doing? Are you like afflicting him with some status ailment? Break! You're trying to hit him with break. Yeah, that missed. Nice try, Leviathan. I mean, it wasn't. It was a terrible try. That was garbage. You should feel shame. But you, at least you tried. Burn him, I guess? I don't know what magic to use in these things. It's doing, like, no damage, but, like, it has way too much health. Ow. You dick. <laughs> Just die, please! <laughs> Holy god. I don't feel like I'm in danger, I'm just annoyed that it's taking forever. Like, please, just die. I have other things I need to be doing right now. It was 9,800 and something damage, and it's still not dead. Did you see that, Sergeant Puffers? Did you see that? I'm sure you did, since you're just sitting here next to me. Yeah, you did. Okay, go away now. Go away. Okay, bye. It's like the setup for a, a freaking sitcom. And your father's gonna be like, oh, thanks for the gift. And you're gonna be like, you're welcome. And he's gonna be talking about how he uses it, and you're gonna have no idea what it is. He keeps, like, circling me. <laughs> like, he'll come to right in front of me, let me pet him, and then he'll walk away, and I just feel him walk around me. And then he's back in front of me again, and he st starts headbutting my hand. He's like, pet me? Okay, enough. Okay, I'm back, pet me! Oh my, holy shit, die! Jesus. Sweet mothers of God! I just... That's even worse! Your proper, I'm gonna pick you up, and then you'll stop coming up to me. Recharge your purpose? You like the back rub? I'm gonna take you juice since your butt's going in the air. You enjoy your purpose? You enjoy your purpose? Oh, I just told you. It's fine. Ow. I just told you. It's fine. Boys. Oh god. This is taking longer than most boss fights do. I'm either dead or they're dead by now. Right, let's go. It's a phone case and a clock. Mmm! Those are dad gifts, alright. Should've bought him a tie, too. Maybe a tool set. Ow. 
Don't jump, Popos! Don't jump, Popos! Your cheeks are so Oh, Lunith is dead. Did you see that, Sergeant Pepper? Lunith died. Ah, he was our main damage dealer. I got Lunith. Garage. Oh, God damn it. You rude bitch. I'm not entirely sure he's he's terribly worried about having a broken face. Uh we don't have cure, so we don't lose everybody. And you raise where's race? You raise Lunith. You could have waited until Lunith was back up in this. That would have been great. You would held that spell till then. No? Okay. Well, at least Lunith isn't going to die to magic. Dragon's already acted. Look up! It's Kirok of the party. I'm running out of spells. <laughs> Legitimately running out of spells. Oh, thank King God. <sighs> Looks like everybody's job level better have increased. Okay, so in the future, we're <laughs> running from those. Because just, just fuck that. It wasn't hard, it was just tedious. I forgot where I am. Okay, I know where I am. Okay. A phoenix down. What are the other side holds? Probably an elixir. I would guess. Since that seems to be the theme of this place. Elixirs and phoenix downs. Crystal mail. Oh, armor. I think we already have armor. That's better or as good as that. Yeah. Oh well. Whatever. Bye. Oh, it's a giant man. A dark general. Mm, wait again. How dare you move? Attack! Hell yeah. Hey, hey, stop cutting my healer. Do not go for the healer. I was hoping that would kill him. He can't be as hard to kill as a dragon. See? He died. <laughs> like the large, large man he is. I mean, yeah. I know. But that doesn't mean I want my opponents to do that. How would you feel if I started doing that to you in D&D? Just always going for the healer. He's like, take him out! I mean, I don't think you all have fought a group, really, that has, like, tactics, have you? We can. Right. 
Right. <laughs> Secure. You know what? Fuck it. I'm about to use <sighs> elixirs anyway, so just go crazy. Dundaga. It was against Mykonids, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the Mykonids in, um... Bridgeport. You all fought those. And then flew to... What's the place? I forget the name. Yeah. You flew to the place next to the Underdark, and then you went in the Underdark, so... Not that long ago, really. It's just we didn't have combat last game. And then we didn't have a game. Yeah, and then we didn't have a game before that for like a month and a half. So it feels like long ago, but by number of games, it was like the game before last game. So <laughs> not actually that long. Okay, I'm afraid Zand is up here. So gonna, we're gonna use our magic. To completely cure everyone, everyone healed. Okay, awesome. And then use the elixirs. Which we have 17 of them. Restore Ingus and Arx so they get their magic back. And then almost died from it. I'm just saying. You all were real close to death. <laughs> we're real blase about it, too. There's gloves over here? Gloves. It's men with two heads, technically. <laughs> Thor! It's Thor! <gasps> I remember this guy now from the uh, Crystal Tower raid in Final Fantasy XIV. Hi, Thor. Let's tango! <laughs> I remember them being super easy to kill, though. Like, in the Crystal Tower raid. Okay, that was like no damage. Except to Lunith, apparently. Lunith is just weak to magic, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why I'm sitting in the floor. And have been sitting in the floor for the past 44 minutes. I have a chair. And as I don't actually need to touch my keyboard, I can get in it. But I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna be not dumb. And actually sit down. Oh, that feels so good. Was I not doing this earlier? Hey, I'm sure. <laughs> you no, know, I must sit in the floor. <laughs> I'm sure fighting those spiders would have went fine. I mean, I'm not saying it was going to be easy. Make no mistake, it was. Of course, dangerous. But you all knew they weren't poisonous, so it wasn't like a, oh no, we've got hit, we're, we're all gonna die kind of thing. It was a, we have to rush our way through this nest. You decided to climb, which is fine. It saved you a few days, which, it saved you all a few days, which you'll probably need now that you're not going to try and get, uh, deeper in the underdark through obelisk so you're going to have to wander around for some days so it may have been, ended up being the best decision overall nah you don't have to breakfast I've not breakfast yet ha 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 fools those who see their reflections in that mirror become afflicted by the curse of five worms I 
I can't move. Do not fear. Doga, is that you? I told you that our souls are everlasting, did I not? Only five souls who possess hearts of pure light may break the curse of the five worms. I will go forth and find the five. Do not lose hope. I will be right back. BRB, bro. Ingus is in grave danger. Please, Princess Sarah, I must ask you to come with me. Only those who possess hearts of pure light may break the curse of the worms, and you are one of them. Will you help us? Ingus, in danger? You must take me to him. I will accompany you. I mean, it's a good thing Doug is not a bad guy. He was just teleported into the princess's bedroom. It's like, hey, yeah, that guy you like, he's totally in danger. Come with me. She's like, oh, yes, immediately. No questions. Sid, we need your help. Will you come with me? Lunith's in trouble? You know, he didn't say anything about Lunith. You don't have to ask me twice. It was, Lunith was not mentioned. <laughs> like Sid's wife, like, Honey, the fuck? Dash, I had hoped you'd still be here. Man, it's hot in there. Dash, you're alive! Of course I am, and who are you again? I just finished repairing the tower's reactor. It was a really close call. A few more seconds and the floating continent would have been toast. Excellent. Now, will you be willing to help Refia? One trouble after another, eh? Sure, count me in. Yeah, it turns out Dash isn't dead. Despite literally leaping face first into lava. He's fine. Totally fine. Ruler of Saronia, Ark and his friends need your help. Ark is in trouble, then I will go with you. You use your tiny dice. You bought them. Best put them to use. Please, will anyone come with me to help Lunith and his friends? It's time for us to save the day, then. You can count on me. Wish me luck. Good luck. Be back in a jiffy. He just doesn't ask. Nobody asks any questions. It's like this strange bearded man teleports in from nowhere. And it's like, come with me. And they're like, yeah, sure. Yeah, whatever. Thank God Doga's not evil. Lunith, Ark, Raphia, Ingus. We will hold off the worm's power. Quickly, into the mirror. You must stop the darkness from covering this world again. Thanks, everyone. Come on, let's go. Are we, are we just not going to talk about the fact that Dash is totally alive? We're just going to accept that? It's fine. Racing towards the end. Who cares? Ominous silence.
<coughs> Sorry. <laughs> I admire your persistence, but you come too late. The darkness draws ever so close, and it is almost upon this world. However, I cannot afford to have you waste all my efforts with the power of light that you hold. Once you are gone, eternal life will be mine. <laughs> Die. Zand! Okay, okay. Zand. Um, let's just help you with. The two flares we have. Let's pelt you with the two flares we got. Ow. Oh, oh, that's painful. Flare. Sweet, sweet flare damage. Um, right. Yeah, now we're gonna heal. So I would like to stay alive. Oh, he's hasting himself. Okay, that's fine. I can live with that. Okay, well, since we got the opportunity, let's, uh, protect Ingus. Just, let's just do that. I suspect. Oh, God. Those were painful. That was painful. Our healer's fine, though. So he has Cast of Arise. It'll be okay. We're going down. I'm not too terribly worried about Xan, because much like the first fight with the... Oh, Lark's gonna die. Much like the first fight with the Emperor, he's not exactly a huge threat. I say as the face plants arc. That's fine. I got just the spell for that. Mmm. Oh, he's dead. Okay. See? What was I telling you? You know he managed to take out Art because he teamed up on him. <laughs> that's, that's it. Gah! But my death will not change a single thing. The cloud of darkness is already here. Darkness will prevail. We are the cloud of darkness. We have come to return the world to the void, to nothingness. We shall engulf everything in our shadow, and both light and darkness will return to the void. Your light is strong. We shall start with you. Hi. I don't think we can actually win this fight, but I'm gonna get arc up anyways. Yeah, we can't win this fight. At least we get to see what Arise looks like. Isn't it beautiful? She's gotten three attacks. Okay, bye. Don't play me like that game. I know better. 
No! Come on, hold on! Old man. I don't even know his name. He's apparently one of our great friends. Don't you go before I do! Please, you must not give up! Sid's just got nothing to say. Sid's just disappointed. Really? You got one shot? Our souls are yours. Our energies one with yours. Now stand, warriors of the light. Doga and Rie have shared their souls with you. You have been resurrected. After being resurrected from death, we're just casually standing around. Come on, you've still got work to do. <laughs> chop, chop. Zan's actions have weakened the presence of the light in this world, bolstering the darkness. And Zand was overcome by the overwhelming darkness that he had called forth. The darkness is very strong now. Our souls will soon join the great soul beyond. We have to go now. We've done all we could. You are our only hope. You must bring balance between light and darkness. Now go forth to the world of darkness. To the world of darkness, then. Let's go. We can do it! Mm, I don't know. Onward! No, we can talk to everybody if you can't win. Looks like it's your turn to save the world. Don't worry, I know you can do it. The fate of the world is in your hands. We're counting on you! Don't you worry about us. Ho, ho, ho. Please come back safely. Everyone, do come back safely. Oh, that's an order. Rude. Let's just leap into the portal. And we're here, the world of darkness. Okay. Um. I'm not entirely sure where to go first. It is much smaller than it was in the NES version, I can tell you that. Thank God. I mean, it's still huge. It is needlessly big, but it is much smaller than it was. I need to go this way first. Upon clouds of darkness, with invin invisible barriers, for some reason. Oh, I did not check to see if we had been, like, healed. There we have. We got all of our magic back. Awesome. Good. Good. Uh, there is no reason to not go cray-cray on you. I have more than enough elixirs. Did they... Did I see that name correctly? Did they spell Jormungand with a Y? That was like garbage damage. I mean, I guess to be fair, this is not an attacker, but that was real bad damage. That was awful. Yep, I saw that right. Dorman gunned with a Y, not a J. Norman guns. Oh my god, this is gonna be like another dragon fight. Is this thing just never gonna die? Yep. Yep, this is exactly what's happening. It's another freaking dragon fight. Okay. Sure. Whatever. Um, where's Katastro? Let's try and get our one-hit KO guy out. Give me Odin. 
Oh, never mind, he's dead. JK. I was worried for nothing. Run, run, run! Just contained a ribbon, but it's a trap! Sand! Again! I'm not even joking, it's it's sand. It's the exact same battle I just had. Literally the exact same battle. We're gonna protect him just this time. Flare! Flare! Except this time I think he's uh, vulnerable to, like, stone and instant death attacks. Of which I have access to neither, really, so doesn't matter much. Oh, you're just, you're just gonna you're just gonna kill Lanef? You're just gonna, you're just gonna kill Lanef? That's fine. It's okay. Faraga. Mm, Faraga. might survive that. He did. Your car doesn't like Twitch? Are, are you, like, streaming me while you're driving? Is that safe? Seems wildly dangerous. that damage sand <laughs> both of you have been streaming me while driving that's so unsafe you don't have to die for my stream Just gains a level. Okay, so we've got a ribbon. Does Ings already have one? Yes, so it's a better defense than what you have. Okay. And I don't think I'll be going after the other ribbons in this dungeon, because there's no point. Refia has the um Aegis Shield. I can remember the name of that. So she's she's in Excuse me? <laughs> She's invulnerable, and now Ingus is vulnerable, and now Arcus. And that's good armor, finally. Kage. You know they're different than Shinobi because they're black. Crit. 300 damage. It's not gonna cut it. Dangerous. Oh, that's 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 more of a crit. This is nearly a thousand damage. I suppose. Still unsafe. Really? It didn't die? No, oh, come on. Just die. You can't have a lot of health left. Thank you. Yay, Art gained a level. Hopefully that gave him more magic points. 
Not our healer, however, that would be Ingus. I mean, I suppose. Except unlike a music or podcast, I will occasionally actually directly talk to you. Oh look, it's your men guns. Uh, ow. <laughs> that was painful. Come on, Jormungand. Just die. Okay, good. For a, a moment there, I was afraid Luna was just gonna just bite the dust. He's not gonna get healed before Jormungand goes. Damage is going up bit by bit. Another one. I'm surrounded by evil. If I die in the fight against the Cloud of Darkness, uh, I'm going to end the stream, because I'll cry. Because it'll have been like two hours wasted. I haven't been able to save since then. Which is really annoying. Ow. No, I'd give up. <laughs> I would probably play, like, off-camera to get back to that spot and then quick save in front of it, but, like, no. I'd be like, okay, rage quit, too demoralized, done. I think this is probably the worst dungeon. Well, this one or five's final dungeon are probably the worst in the series, because they both go on way too long. With, like, no chance to, to save or do anything. So I'm, like, I'm thinking of, like, sevens gives you a save point you can take with you. Eight is, like, a hub where the, the hub is, like, next to the exit where you can go save. Uh, nines is kind of a long shot, but it's not nearly as long. Again, Jormungand. And this dog is adorable. FYI. Okay, let's heal, I guess. Or kill it. Mm, this is fine. This is fine.
we're fine. We're alive. Got him. Got him! You gained a level. Awesome. Okay, before we walk into that... Uh, actually, let's get a little closer. Before we walk into that... No, not, ma not items. Ain't no reason to be using items. We could be using Kiraja. Getting our magic points back. This is the Dark Crystal. One of them. You've done well to come this far, but it is as far as you go. The darkness will engulf the world and return it to the void. Echidna! Uh, I don't know what she's hanging from. I am concerned. Protect Ingus. Uh, yeah, throw out some flares. Just go crazy with the flares. That could have been a lot more painful. been a ton more painful. Uh, Russia, everyone. Take no chances. Full health. We have enough elixirs to spare. We can do it. Oh, God. Damn it. We'll be at full health. <laughs> uh, uh, protect off on Ark, I guess. He's weak. I mean... She ended up not killing Lunith, and she went before Ingus, so Ingus was able to fully heal everyone. So now I can use Ingus to cast a Protect spell and not have to just desperately heal for a turn. Which is good. So the more Protects I get off, the less desperate healing I'll have to do. And the more buffs I'll be able to throw around. Fewer buffs. Fewer, yeah. Out of health. No, what that was. I think everyone in the party is actually immune to death except for Lunith, so she legitimately just missed Lunith. Oh god. Oh, you silenced him. That's fine. I can live with that. It doesn't cast spells. Crazy. Kiraja everyone. 
would be ridiculous. Don't hold back. Holding back too much can get us killed. Oh, well, that's shitty. You're just not having a good day. You've not actually died yet, though. So there's that. You're just not having a good day. <laughs> so bad, in fact, he decided to crit a kid. <laughs> I think that can't affect him. Uh, we can throw a haste on Lunith now, finally. Maybe he will finally kill Echidna! She has like 99,999 health. She has a lot of health. She has a lot. That was rude. Got her. Thank God. Since we're going to be spending all that money somewhere. <laughs> I'm a warrior of the dark, one of the four who stopped the Flood of Light a thousand years ago. I have come to join you. The Cloud of Darkness had also appeared when the Light threatened to engulf the world a thousand years ago. We, the warriors of the dark, managed to stop it then, at great cost. A thousand years later, the balance between Light and Darkness has inverted. Light had existed around a core of Darkness, but Darkness now revolves around a core of Light. But the Light has lost its brilliance. The overflowing Darkness is threatening to extinguish the Light that remains. A Flood of Darkness. Only you, warriors of the Light, have the power to stop it. What do you mean? Is that all? Oh, we're all completely fully healed. Oh, thanks. Is there a teleport out? No? You're gonna make me walk back? You dick. A road. Oh, God. Invisible barrier hallways. Why? Bad game design. Don't do it. Continue in a circle. <laughs> Another Jormungand. Hi, bro. What's up, bro? Let's go. Let's tango. I'm legitimately gaining levels here. another level 8 spell cast. That would be great. The best. Oh no! What are the cats doing? level has increased. Yeah, sure. <coughs> it's like, do I want to race, waste Refius? I'm not going to use an elixir on her. It's like, yeah, I still do. <laughs> I will never use Refius cure in battle. That's not happening. It's too weak. It's too 
Ooh, I see that chest. We're not going for it. I know what's in it. There's only ribbons in this place. That's a quick way to get jumped and die. That looks like no damage. You should feel shame. You're an awful ninja. That was more appropriate. That was better. It was a good try. That was a better try. Such pain. I don't remember which warrior of darkness this is. <sighs> that we're running up on. I just know he's gonna be super pleased to see us. Or she. Two girls and two guys. This job level has increased. So it's like, hey, yeah, look, the ribbon's right there. Just go for it. Like, nope. I'm not dumb. I know. I think we don't need to use up elixirs, actually. It's what? We get used a few castings of Faraga? At all? Yeah. We're fully healed, so... Yeah, screw it. Let's go. Let's just right into him. You cannot stop the flow of darkness. This will be your final resting place. I'm hoping it's Ariman. Oh, it's Cerberus. Damn. Ariman fights with, like, status debuffs, and since everyone except Lunath has a ribbon or an Aegis shield... No, I don't need a ribbon. I, I literally don't. I'm... Lunath could wear it, but I don't care. <laughs> if he gets, like, poisoned or something. Don't love him. I'll protect Ingus, because, of course. Flare and stab. Cerberus also has 99,999 HP. Oh god. And gets three attacks. It makes sense, he has three heads. Rude. His name is Spot. I mean, he'll be <laughs> he'll be a good dog once I've stabbed him to death, and then he'll stop being con controlled by evil. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Sure. Fine. Nobody died. We're gonna cure Roger to full. It's fine. I'm not carrying my poison. That is not enough damage. Okay. No, we need to get a protect onto Ark. Ark is going to actually be the healer this turn. And Cerberus, we're gonna stab him some more. Go, Ark. Take that protect. Lol. Attack. 
Uh, another protect this time on Lunith. We are at full health, so take the chance to drain. Just in case you get attacked. I'm probably getting attacked. I'm gonna crit, like this isn't this isn't 9,999 damage. We're gonna be here a while. Ow. Nope, oh, well, Lunith is dead. This protect is gonna go on Ingus. Already has protect. Oh no, it went on Raffia. Hey, nice. Thank you, behind that. Give me your help. Thanks. Um. Frick. Arise, Lutnith. To rush at the party, just in case. Okay. Stop. Stop attacking my healer. Wake up. Get up. He's the worst dog. Take this chance to Kiraja everyone. You're gonna take this chance to do damage. You're just going to stab. Oh god. A crit. 172. This is why we are Kiraging everyone. I know how this tango goes. Have we been passing? Oh. Oh, you mean specifically me, not just like the party, but like specifically me. I suppose. Don't. <laughs> so the death arms race. Let's get this protect on. Freaking. <laughs> yes. On Lunith. I hope he doesn't die. Well, of course there are. Why would there not be smart enemies? Now. 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 Ruffy is basically taking no damage now that we've got Protect on her. Which is... <laughs> Cave Badgers! Know what you're talking about. Cave Badgers would, of course, know to attack the healer first. Crit! Oh, thank God. A little extra damage helps. He do. I am always worried about killer robots. What are you talking about? Three-legged, glowy blue robots? Terrified of them. I was hoping that would kill it. It's clearly Rob. Lunas is dead. Lunith is dead. No getting around that. <laughs> as soon as I saw that hit only him, I was like, well, he gone. Hope he had fun. Ugh. Robots. How dare. Oh, Arise, keep attacking Cerberus. It'll maybe go down, I hope. Oh god. Oh god, stop. Oh 
Oh, we got him. And everybody's alive. Perfect. It's a ridiculous amount of kill. This is ridiculous. But the game knows. It's like, oh, you, you can't spend it. <laughs> what are you gonna spend that on? No. I'm a warrior of the dark. One of the four who stopped the flood of light a thousand years ago. I have come to join you. Apparently my controller's gonna stop working. Light and darkness attracted to each other, yet keeping themselves at a safe distance. They coexist in a precarious balance. If light and darkness come into contact, they cancel each other out, and nothing is left where they meet. That is the void. The universe began with the void and will return to the void. However, there is one force that stands against the ever-present threat of the void. It is what you call hope. Apparently, people of the dark don't have a word for hope. In time, the void will consume the world, but now is not the time. As long as there is hope in the world of light, and here in the world of darkness, for as long as hope prevails, the void shall be kept at bay. Okay, bye. That's why who gives what to me? What? Run away! What? No, crap. Oh, look! There's the female ninjas! Shadow Masters! Oh, because I can't spend it? Because they know? <laughs> you have six million gil! Too bad you're too late in the game to spend it! What you really wanted, right? Money? Did you... Is that necessary? Did you have to cast the protect? Shame. Yeah, that's good. Can't hurt. Attack in the Kage. She knows. I think I'm gonna die here. I just booped Arya Snoot. She's been booped. Heal again, so just cast spells and kill this lady. It's a nice, respectable woman who just stabbed one of my mages right in the gut. Who wants to be a gillionaire? Achievement unlocked! Yay! What did I tell ya? <laughs> I need money. If this were five, I wouldn't be bad about getting... <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you probably did. If this were five, I wouldn't be bad about getting money, because uh, you can actually use money to do attacks in five. And ten, too. And ten, too, too. Uh, not, not in this game. But don't spend it to buy things. It's worthless. Ow. Oh, and you poisoned him? You rude. You rude. It wouldn't load so you couldn't? Couldn't what? What? Yeah, okay, I'll get everyone. Whatever. Well, nope, nope. The group. Step, 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 step. Dead. You're dead. You're so dead. Bye. Aw. You didn't miss much. We fought we fought a puppy named Spot, and Art got shanked in the stomach by a very respectable lady. Also, I died. But it was okay, it was story related. I got better. Okay, 
god, our kind level. Maybe he'll actually have uh, more magic now. Oh, he's blind too, oh. Magic for that. Don't we blind now? Uh, yeah, let's use it. Instead of using our precious, precious eye drops. Of which, for some reason, we have like none. Okie dokie. To the next one. This one I can clearly see the paths. Nope, 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 nope. I mean, what if your fat dog really in would have enjoyed the donut hole? Who are we to say that your morbidly obese dog is not to be eating s sugar and and grease? Do we really have the right to tell her no? Your mother just wants your dog to be happy. Have you seen pictures of my mother's dog? Like, I can't lift her. She has rolls upon rolls of fat. Like, she is legitimately becoming spherical. she feeds her chocolate, but since my mother can't actually afford, like, real chocolate, she feeds her, like, crap chocolate, which isn't really chocolate, it's just, like, fat and sugar, so she just gets fat. It's a mutt, mostly with some kind of pit bull. This one's red. Darkness will flood the world and return it to the void. Of course chocolate isn't good for that. Do you think I haven't mentioned that? Ah, we will devour your meager light. I mean, they keep telling us how, like, our light is so weak and small, but we have chased the darkness into its home world. And they're slowly killing off the, the evil that is gripping the warriors of darkness there, who are then joining our side. Like, we're, we're winning. I'm, I, I am 100% aware of all of the problems giving chocolate to dogs causes. I know, and have mentioned it to my mother. She doesn't care. Or more correctly, she thinks it doesn't affect Bella, actually. Okay, sure. That's that's fine. Keep attacking. Keep up the damage. All of the warriors are darkness have 99,999 health. Because reasons, I guess. Well, 
right? That's why she's spherical. Perfectly healthy. Absolutely no problems. Absolutely no problems. Okay, since everyone's at full health, just chance to throw a protect on arc. Final Fantasy XIV, I don't trust healers who haven't set Protect as one of their role actions. I don't trust them. You done? You done? No. Okay. The Gangra- What is the Gangrena? What? What? Faraga and stabbing. Faraga and stabbing. Ow! Miss Bleen! Miss Bleen! Gangrene. Oh! That's true. She's not currently being affected by gangrene. everybody. Has this dragon done anything other than physically attack? Like, has it cast any spells? Like, its physical attack is, like, wicked strong, but... It's toes are dirty. Yeah, totally. That's what happens when you get gangrene. Your toes get dirty. Get a little mud on you. Throw a heast down now. I throw it on Ingus. No, we're not. No, that's a bad idea. We're gonna throw it on Luna. I think, I think I may have seen this Pomeranian then. Is it Sherlock? Curing everybody. Oh, it's Gracie. a level. And Luna. So what level are we all at? I think we need to be at 50 before we face the cloud of darkness. I am a warrior of the dark. One of the four who stopped the flood of light a thousand years ago. I've come to join you. The balance between light and darkness is kept by the four crystals. The crystals of wind, fire, water, and earth. When Zayn halted the flow of time, the light of two of these crystals was sealed away. Because of this, the balance between the light and the darkness shifted drastically and gave birth to the Cloud of Darkness, an entity whose sole purpose is to return the world to the Void. The Cloud of Darkness tried to seal the two remaining crystals located on the floating continent. It created the earthquake that you have witnessed. It almost drew the floating continent to the surface world. 
The cloud of darkness is powerful, but with our powers of light and darkness combined, we may be able to defeat it. We are 51. Awesome. Good. I'm not worried about my fight with Cloud of Darkness, then. She gonna go down! Come on! Ah, uh, I was hoping we'd get through with no fights. Whatever. It's fine. Take up these Shadow Masters. Come on, die! At least the Warriors of Darkness, unlike Doga and Rene, are nice enough to heal us after every one of our battles. They're not <laughs> just right dicks and just be like, nope, oh, fuck you. You've gotta fight us. You have to win. We have to fight you. there. We have one more Warriors of Darkness, Warrior of Darkness, and then the Cloud of Darkness, and then we're done. We'll have beaten the game. The game will be finished. cast protect to just die. What? Oh my god, stop. Use Rathias. Uh, Final Fantasy 4. <laughs> After Final Fantasy 3. Crazy, I know. And that game will be followed by 5, and then 6, and then 7, and then 8, and then 9, and then 10, and may maybe 11. I don't know how or what I'm going to do with 11. It's still trying to find that out. So maybe 11, but then definitely 12, and 13, and 14, and 15. Every other one? I mean, I could. Yeah, there are still servers available for 11, but there... I mean, there are still official ones up. And... Um, they're still running, but they're like low population server games, so... It's not a lot of MMO, and it... I'm gonna kill this guy. And 11 does not have a lot of the... Uh, ease of access or convenience things you get in pretty much every other MMO. So, like, you know how in, like, 14 you can, like, queue for dungeons and go into a dungeon fight without having to actually, like, go around and find a physical party of people to go with you? Y you do have to do that in 11. They've added trust NPCs, which, uh, you can make a party of entirely NPCs if you are incapable of finding people because it became such a problem. But you still have to go get those NPCs 
and like learn the spell to summon them and then actually physically walk to the dungeon and do it. Mm, it's not great. I don't know what I'm going to do for 11. <laughs> no idea. Because I certainly can't play through all the story because there's like 200 hours of story. Just story. It's not counting all the grinding I would, I would have to do because of that game. So I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I could try and find a... It is, Yeah, that is too much work. Like, for 14, because 14 also has, like, a ridiculous amount of story, but for 14, I can do, like, a highlight reel of, like, the cool primal fights and stuff, which is what I plan on doing. But I can't do that for 11. Like, I just... I can't. I might try and find a private server with somebody who has, like, increased experience, like, on, and try that. I don't know. I still have no idea. Right, I used quite a bit of magic, so... Let's just... Let's just, let's just make sure everyone's healed. Use more elixirs, because, I mean, it's the end of the game. What am I going to save them for? Let's go. Ah, oh, it's the Earth one. The ebb of darkness is getting strong. Soon, none shall be able to stop it. As for you, you will never leave this place alive. Mwahahaha. They are coming out with like a mobile version of Eleven. I don't know how it's going to work, and I might end up using that. I don't know though. Depends on, it, like, if it comes out in time, by the time I get to it, and it's actually good. Right, yes. Um, no. Protect Ingus. Flare Ariman. Stab Ariman. A mobile version of 11? Yeah, I do think it's weird. I mean, I'll probably get it. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Ow. That actually didn't hurt that much. Never mind. What was... What was that? <laughs> it was the weirdest attack animation. He just opened his mouth and danced. What was that? What are you doing? Whenever I see magic hit Refia, I'm not sure if it's going to be, like, for everyone or just Refia. There's always that question. health, protect arc, he has the other ray spells, just in case this goes down. Doing a lot more damage to Ariman than we were doing to the others. And Ariman is not doing a lot of damage to us. Oh, that's a rat. And attack.
Come on, die. You know you can do it. I have faith in you. Come on, it's almost dead. Your cat is not pleased, it has to be collared. I can't imagine very many cats are. Ow. Oh, you stoned Lunif. Rude. Blessing in disguise, I guess. It's a, it's a chance to get the experience. So we're gonna have Arc Tiraja. Ow. It's okay. I took the back. That was not an owl. This is the opposite of a wow. An owl. It was like 700. Like less than a third of his HP. And we're fully healed. Fortunately, Lunith has lost all of his stuff. Curses. More health than any of the others. So, well, he's taking so oh, good, he died. <laughs> like, it feels like he's taking longer than the others did. Despite the fact that we're doing more damage and he's doing less damage to us. I don't know what's going on. JK. You gained that level, Ingus. And Lunith. I am a warrior of the dark, one of the four who stopped the flood of the light a thousand years ago. I have come to join you. Light and darkness, one cannot exist for the other, much like the sun and the world. Ah, uh, it's not really uh, astronomically accurate. Zan severed the link between the world and the sun, creating a world without day or night. A world devoid of that is not how that works. But Zan did not foresee that his actions would call forth the cloud of darkness, or that he would be put under its control. If we do not stop the cloud here and now, not only will your world be engulfed in darkness, but the worlds of light and darkness will both be devoured by the void. If we, warriors of dark, and you, warriors of the light, combine our powers, we may be able to stop it. As we had done a thousand years ago, let us unite and defeat the cloud of darkness. That's how you stop time, right? You block out the sun? That's how that works, right? I mean, obs. Ob. <laughs> the plot of this game is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> He's my star people, so I give him the power of dying. Right? Yeah, clearly, the sun is the only way you can tell time, so if you get rid of it, like, time stops.
And as we know, the sun cannot exist without the world. They are bound. That is Queen Scylla, a queen and also common version of a boss that we fought earlier. Because reasons, queen is more common, apparently. Unfortunately, I do not think there is a Charybdis in this uh, dungeon, so... No, bad dog. Bad dog. I wonder which head controls the body, or if, like, all of them have to, like, work together to move anything. Like, each of them gets a limb. I mean, they could. They were... Four, four legs and two arms and six heads. He calls him Brent. His, his actual name is Brant. If you're gonna meme at me, get the meme right, bro. Okay, yeah, we're gonna open this. I need the ribbon. Finally. Hello, Zant again. What's up, bro? Having a good day. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking murder you. Mm. It's like the implication that the cloud of darkness, like, stole Zan's DNA and got created four clones of him, but then shoved those clones into boxes with tiny little ribbons. That's it. We're not going to actually use them for anything unless the Warriors of Light come to open this specific box. Just like you take your clones and you shove them in boxes. Okay, um, they're still damaged, which is fine. This is fine. Rude. First of all, rude. Oh, come on, just die. Thank you. You can't be. Your health has to be almost out. I was right. Arc gains an actual level. Just a job level. Okay, now we'll put a ribbon on Lunith. Oh, it's just defense, but it's fine. We'll need it because Cloud of Darkness has the bad breath attack. Oh, which inflicts every status ailment. So. We have him with a ribbon. That'll be just an, a pointless attack for her. She'll use it and it'll do nothing. It'll be great. Okay. Where the hell do I go from here? Hello? Hello? Where the hell do I go from here? <laughs> Wait, what? There's supposed to be a thing. Oh, I would not have figured that out on my own. I mean, we're kind of already there. What? Hello? Hello? 
Lothor. This is not space hell. This is dark hell. It's a difference. I mean... Maybe, but since their society is so racist, they kill them instantly. Aha! Oh god. It's a light maze. Oh, why? <laughs> why? Who designed this? Thought this was a good idea. Yeah, well, racism sucks. We'll never know because they're all dead. Okay, that's that's fine. Just stab Ark over and over, that's fine. It's not a problem. It's a okay. Ow. Aha! That's why we have a knight. Step in front of that spear stab. Aroga. Yeah, Little Aroga. Oh, you gonna die now? Yeah. So happy. Awesome. Completely healthy. Okay, before we step in that portal, let's make sure absolutely that everyone is at full health, and we're going to use an elixir once more on Ingus and Art to get all of their magic points back, and then let's go. Let's do it. Cloud of Darkness time. We are the cloud of darkness. None shall stand before the flood of darkness. With it, we will bring the void to this world and your, your world of light as well. We won't let you. Not if we have anything to say about it. <laughs> they just nod their heads like, yeah, same. <laughs> this is the world of darkness. You cannot defeat me with only the power of light. Like, bitch, watch us. That is why we are here. The hopes of the light and darkness now unite! We shall not let the void reign free. <laughs> You're just fucking suicide against it. Like, everybody's like, what the fuck, dudes? <laughs> that was the best look from Raphia. <laughs> what? Why? You are trying my patience. You may have destroyed the dark crystals, uh, but that is of no consequence. 
We will devour your world of light and use it to return this world to the void. This is it. Final boss fight time! I'm stressed. I can feel the stress. Okay. Protect. And finally, we're gonna start throwing some shurikens. There they are. It's tentacle. Um, uh, is, is there any advantage to killing the tentacles? I don't remember there being tentacles. I mean, true. <laughs> the advantage is that there are fewer tentacles that exist in the world. <laughs> Just smacked Ark. Just like, uh, <laughs> move. <laughs> excuse, excuse. It did like no damage. Oh. Yeah, he has a ribbon. Well, as you saw, I just attacked um, the tentacles, and it did like one damage when she stabbed it. So never mind. Uh, we are going to use this time where she is just playing around with us to uh, make sure everyone gets a protect. Well, we got the last ribbon. Ow. Rude. Rude. Darkness. Let's get protect on Luneth. Um. I think we're healthy enough that we can probably just throw a Cura out for now. Because I don't want to waste all of my Shirajas quite yet. But I do want to keep healing every turn. Not enough damage. For shame. For shame! On Raffia, you uh, throw down another Kirasha on everyone. You throw more shurikens straight into the cloud of darkness. Sweet! Oh no, she protected one of her tentacles. Things I'm not even attacking. Oh no. <laughs> Learn it. No. <laughs> right? She's completely and totally unconcerned with us. She has 100,000 more health than the Warriors of Darkness did. Oh god! Uh, just healed. <laughs> Riffy is like, no, stop. Right, okay. Uh, Raja. The whole party. Uh, let's throw some meteors around. Throw the last shuriken. You bitch. It's fine, you bad breath. Does nothing. So 
wasted attack. Lightning and particle beams are the big ones. They do a lot of damage to Refi and Lunath. That was fine. <laughs> that was fine. Uh, throw another Kyarasha down. Don't have anything else to throw, so I guess we're gonna have to actually attack. suddenly doing much less damage. Ow. I love that breath. Keep doing it. Do nothing but bad breath. Stabbing the Cloud of Darkness. She'll go down eventually. We just have to heal literally every turn. It's, it's the best I can do. I'm literally fully healing everyone every turn, and we're still dying. We're still dying. I mean, her bottom half is literally a cloud. That's why she's called the Cloud of Darkness. Be great if Ifrit would choose to heal us. Oh, thank you, Ifrit. Thank gods. Just to heal everyone. I'm Ifrit the healer. Um, we need an arise on Lunith. So you should use Kiraja on everyone. Although I'm going to be pissed if Art casts it before she gets a chance to do literally any damage. Don't be that guy. Oh, Ark, damn it. Damn it. Someone's going to die, die now because of you. I hope you feel shame. This, I see bad breath and I imagine she just comes and literally just breathes on him. And it's like, why isn't he dead? It usually totally kills people. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty ribbon. Surely this has nothing to do with why bad breath does not work. This time, Ark, you can totally <laughs> cast Kiraja before... Uh, attacks, that would be great. Okay, now. Okay, good. Now! Do it now. Lunith just takes a ridiculous amount of damage from lightning. It's like, it's like half his health whenever it hits him. Like, nobody else takes that much. Smack. Legitimately needed that. We would have died had she used the lightning. Yes, we're all at full health. <laughs> With an extra healing from effort for no reason. It's fine. Okay. 
tickle him. Ouch. Double ouch. Okie dokie. Darkness. Use a rise on Lunith. You Kiraja, everyone. Please. There goes Ark. Oh my god, Ark's still alive. Oh my god. Ark's not fucking around. He's hang on by a thread. an attack out though, so that's good. <laughs> Ridiculous. Science? No, she wants to destroy existence. Wow, Ifrit, you were so helpful. You did. Absolutely zero damage. Okay. You tried. Smack. Mm. I mean, then in that instance, she is. She's using it uh, to destroy the world by just aiming the particle beam straight at us. No. Kiraja. Kiraja, please. Haste? The other tentacle? Okay, that's fine, I guess. Whatever. Wiggle! Wiggle! Get him! I don't know why that doesn't do any damage to Ingus. I'm glad it does no damage to Ingus. I just don't know why. I don't know what I've done to deserve that. Okay. Fine. You're not going to attack this turn. You're going to throw an elixir on Ingus. Ingus does not run out of arises. And you're gonna chug an elixir as well. You're out of Kirajas. Where is elixir? There they are. Chug it! Lunith stab. We got her! I told you we were getting there. Achievement unlocked! The Warriors of Light! Don't you like how we got money and experience for beating the last boss of the game? We gained levels. <laughs> we need that. All that post-game stuff, you know? As the game ends, it's over. It's done. It's no post-game. In the beginning there was void, and then there was light, and darkness, and then everything was born. First there was nothing, and then there was something. The sky, the land, the water, the fire, and life. Time flows to bring them all back from whence they came. But life gave birth to something unique, a shining force that divided the light and darkness and illuminated the world. A force called hope. This is so cheesy. Hope. A time will come when the balance between light and darkness is broken, and four will be chosen to restore it. Again. And again. Do not forget that what gives the four their power is hope. Hope inside each and every living being in the world. Dreams, despair, love, time will consume all. But you must not accept it. You must fight it. You must find the power within to prevail. 
must find the one last speck of light, the one feeble glitter that will illuminate all, the light of hope. Everyone! <gasps> Luneth, Ark, Refia, Ingus! I knew you could do it! By the heavens, you've done it! Oh, I had no doubt you would succeed! Man, you guys are something! Are we gonna mention the fact that he died? Or are we just gonna keep ignoring it? Sure! Elephant in the room, let's not talk about it. Let's go. It's time to go home. Are you gonna make me watch them fly the Invincible all the way home? Thanks, Gramps. Glad to be of service. Now let's see if the people of Amor missed me. No. They did not. You don't even have a name. Hey, boys. Welcome back. Glad to be back. Thanks again. You saved the world, you know. Ah. You know who to call when the world needs saving again. Come to Amor anytime. We'll do some training together if you can keep up. Ha ha ha. Farewell. It's Saronia. Yes, we have come back. Thank you for your help, Prince. I mean, King Alice. No, it is I who must thank you. It is the power of light within you that has saved the world. Thank you, Warriors of the Light. I will strive to be as strong as you in serving my people. Thank you and farewell. Remember that time my dad stabbed himself in front of us? Isn't that weird? Bye. Ark and Alice are totally gay for each other. I ship it. Oh, thank God we got the fast airship now. We dropped the Invincible. We were like, ah, oh, ancient airship. With cannons and mountain going over technology. But it's slow. It's so slow. We're almost to Canaan. Oh, are we now? Mrs. Sid must be worried about me. I'm getting off here too. Why are you going to Canaan? Did you forget about his girlfriend? Well, I have some unfinished business, if you know what I mean. He wants to get laid, Lunas. Calm down. I have to see Selena. Oh, so you're finally come to your senses. Oh, stop it. You're embarrassing me. We're still not going to talk about the fact that he died. We're just going to ignore that. Sure. Whatever. Death is unimportant. We died. We came back. Who are we to question Dash about it? <laughs> oh, I've missed you so. Oh my, Sid, stop it. People are watching. Selena. Dash, you're back. Promise me you won't ever leave again. I promise. Ah, we can't be outdone by those youngins, can we? Sid, stop, I say. Oh, Sid, must you be so inappropriate? What are they doing? Uh, uh-huh, um. <laughs> Refia is all of us right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> excuse. Stop. Oh, sorry, got carried away there. 
Ahem. I guess I did too. Hey, don't forget to come get me if you're going adventuring again. You're not going anywhere, Tesh. Looks like you're not getting out of this one, Dash. Yeah, yeah. Come visit us anytime here. You have to sample Mrs. Sid's dinner special. Mrs. Sid. Yes, her name is Mrs. Sid. Refia. Uh, thank you, but I have to go see my father first. And I have to train to be a good smith. It's the least I can do to thank him for raising me, you know? Good. I'm sure Taka will be happy to hear that. Give him my regards. Here. Sid, Dash, we'll see you soon. Will you, though? Milady, let us return to Castle Sasune. No, I don't want to go back so soon. Milady, why? Men are so obtuse. May I say it plainly? I want to stay with you a bit longer. There. Don't look so surprised. Come, let us visit Kazus and her first. As you wish, milady. I will stay by your side until the end of time. I mean, I can totally ask why he's dead. I want to know. <laughs> How did you come back? What'd you do? It's Ur. We're home. Come on, don't just stand there. Welcome home. Lunif, you've come back. To Papa. Mom, we, we did it. I knew you had it in you. You've done well. I'm proud of you. I, I fought too. Yeah, and you did great. Welcome back. Thank you for saving the world. How <laughs> <A> polite. <laughs> the heroes are back. The warriors of the light are real. Here, let me kiss you. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> oh, that was... <laughs> Princess Sarah gonna shank a bitch. The world was saved from the darkness. The light within you saved us all. Thank you, warriors of the light. Oh. The light! The crystals, they're back. It's beautiful. The darkness has gone, and a new dawn has come to the world. Look, guys, the sun is back. Time can start again. Also, there's some birds. It's not rude. This is important information. I would like to know how to come back to life from death. Let's get that NES remix music going on. Wrong button. Be Jesus. That's how you come back. Be Jesus. Cast. Oh. Lunith. Level 52. Or a vampire, I suppose. You don't really come back to life, though. You just keep keep going after death. Ingus, level 52. Everyone. Princess Sarah. Sid. Dash. Prince Priestess Arya. Who is dead? King Alice. The Four Old Men, Doga, Une, and Parrot. Which does also work. 
I was surprised at how useful the Geomancer in this game actually turned out being. Because in most of the games, they're garbage. They're absolute garbage. So I was surprised it was actually useful in this game. Ooh, holy. And flare. We never actually used the full-out summoner, did we? We never saw the actual, like, best summons for each summon. Did you have to use a summoner to get those? And I didn't! I used a sage. Sages can use summon spells, they just can't use the best versions of the summon spells. They're better than summoners. Pine, Kraken, Goldor. Ah, I forgot his name. He's Garuda, but I. Sand. Winchester, yeah. Be a man on Supernatural. Save current, level, and item data. Okay. Can we? Yes. Three stars. I don't remember what those stars mean. I know one of them means that you have completed the game, but I don't remember the other two or four. <gasps> okay, so we've beaten Final Fantasy III. It's done. It's done. We've done it. It's finished. <laughs> and now we're moving on to four, although I am done streaming for today because I've been at this for almost three hours. So, uh, yeah. Tomorrow I will probably be streaming the starting Final Fantasy IV because that's what you do. So, yeah. Follow me on everything. Hope you had fun watching this extremely long stream. And see you later. Bye-bye.